I am your English teacher. Today, let us go on to a new chapter, the Sermon at Benares. See children, this story is about Gautama Buddha. Understand? Here, the Sermon at Benares throws light upon the early life of Lord Buddha, who was originally born as a prince in the royal family. On being exposed to the sufferings of the world, which he was earlier shielded from, he left his princehood and went in search of salvation, thus leaving all the worldly pleasure, pleasures behind upon attaining spiritual awakening. He gave his first sermon in the city of Banaras, hereby making a lady named Kisa Gautami realize that men are mortal and a wise person should not grieve at what is bound to happen for it only enhances pain and sufferings children so children let us see that was about gautama buddha you all know who is gautama buddha he was from born from the year 563 bc to 483 bc so that means in 483 bc Okay, he began his life as a prince named Siddhartha, Gha Siddhartha Gautama in North India. At 12, he was sent away for schooling in the Hindu sacred scriptures and four years later, he returned home to marry a princess. They had a son and lived for 10 years as befitted royalty. At about the age of 25, the prince here for two four shielded from the sufferings of the world while out hunting chanced upon a sick man, then an aged man, then a funeral processions and finally a monk begging for aims. See children, here you can see all the four pictures on this screen. Then an aged man, then a funeral procession. And finally, a monk begging for arms. These sights so moved him that he at once went out into the world to seek enlightenment concerning the sorrows he had witnessed. So children here, after this, Gautama Buddha was born to a North Indian royal family as a prince as I told you and was named Siddhartha Gautama. He was sent to a faraway place when he was 12 years old to study Hindu sacred scriptures and upon returning four years later he got married to a princess. Soon they both had a son and they continued to live the royal life for about 10 years. The royals were shielded from all the unpleasant experiences of the world until the prince met a sick man, an aged man, a funeral procession and a monk looking for aims. These experiences act as eye-openers for him and thus he left all the royalty behind to seek a higher sense of spiritual knowledge children. So after this, he wandered for seven years and finally sat down under a people tree where he owed to stay, enlightenment came. Enlightened after seven days, he named the tree Bodhi tree and began to teach and to share his new understandings. At that point, he became known as the Buddha children, the awakened or the enlightened. The Buddha preached his first sermon at the city of Benares, most holy of the dipping places on the river Ganges. That sermon has been preserved and is given here. It reflects the Buddha's wisdom See, this is the Bodhi tree where he was sitting and where he got a enlightenment children. So, it reflects the Buddha's wisdom. About one inscriptable kind of suffering. And he wanted to move without a fixed course. And solemnly he promised to a specified thing children. Okay. Then, later on. Gautama Buddha went in search of enlightenment as I told you 
for how many years children for 7 years and he finally became came across the people tree and he sat over there and he became awakened children okay so children here kisa gotami had a only son she had and he recently died she struck with unending pain and sorrow she took her son door to door requesting for a wonder drug that could bring his son back to life quite obviously everyone thought that the lady had lost her ability to think clearly going on from door to door she finally came across a man who could not offer any medicine but led her to sakyamuni the buddha filled with hope the lady visited gautama buddha and begged him for a cure for her child so children you all know about this story and what happened there is then just as the man said gautama buddha had a solution he asked kisa gautami to get a handful of mustard seeds restored with hope kisa gautami thought it to be a very simple task until lord buddha instilled a condition that the mustard seed must be taken from a house where no one has lost a child husband parent or friend so children here i have given you all the meanings you can write these meanings in your class work and after my class i'll give you a few question and answers please write it in your class work children thank you all have a nice day